Good morning. We're here at GSI and we're taking a look at ASTM D is in David 7466. This is the severity height of textured GM membranes. This particular uh, gauge is what we'll be using, a depth gauge. Uh, this gauge, the first item that you need to do, it has a stylus in the base of it. Uh, the first thing you need to do is zero the device. Uh, you set it down on a smooth surface and subsequently uh, zero the device. And the device is zeroed now. Uh, you then need to verify the device that it's uh, functioning properly. And you, we typically do that with a, a washer of known dimension. Here you have a, a washer and you can see that it's uh, uh, 65 mils, uh, thou 65 thousandths of an inch um, in regards to its thickness. We place that down on the, uh, the base and then subsequently put the depth gauge on top of that. And it should work out to uh, 65 mil. And 65.2, the accuracy of this is a little bit more. So we have it, the uh, gauge is within tolerance and uh, functioning well. I should point out to you that this stylus does dull over time and you have to maintain that, it's important to it. We'll be testing two different GM membranes. The first is from a blown film line this uh, membrane goes down on the rigid platen and then we're looking at the uh, maximum of three readings the first reading we have or we're finding the valley here so 33.3 .3. the second reading 29.6 and then the third reading 27 point or 26.6 so 33.3 .3 is the uh, maximum reading for this particular sheet. We'll then go to a uh, cast sample, and here you see a uh, textured GM membrane from a cast line. We'll uh, take a look at three readings, again finding the valleys. 32.3, uh, the next is 28.7. And the third is 30.8. So the maximum is 32.3 uh, for this particular sample. We'd then like to uh, see zero or near zero for the gauge. And that's certainly within tolerance. And then a uh, verification real quick that the gauge is uh, operating well. And we're near the tolerance there. So this is ASTM D7466 asperity height of textured GM membranes. Signing out from GSI.